<clears throat> so hello, um, glad to be here at the MLA book exhibit for MLA 2018. Um, my thanks to Tim Roberts and Counterpath Press. Um, I'm here to introduce uh, for the first time the Using Electricity book series and with one of my co-authors in the series, Allison Parrish, to read a little bit from uh, two of the first three books that have been published. And uh, the book I'm reading from is The True List. It is a 140-page book-length poem, and all of the text of the poem is generated by a single page of Python 2 code that comes at the end of the book. Um, it's a generated poem. You could also think of it as a compressed poem. And I'm going to read um, just a few of the first pages from part one of 20. It's OK with me. One. Now they saw the foothills and the air king, the earthworm, the slip hound exceeding the king, the heart woman, the ship hound, the hard path river leading the ship, the trap light welcoming the work, the man water, the high hound, the past water, the fish tail, the turn cloth, the soft hand alighting, and the sick eye, the overless house, the void word, the port woman, the blur woman opposing the lock, the fly cloth pondering, the tailfish, the sick storm listening, the foot sack welcoming the wood, and the ear tail alighting, the earth yard supporting the list, the landside tail, the dead work, the cross yard dreaming, the blur light pondering, the ship wing facing the stone, the land hound, the deadless turn, and the snowbed, the night town, the forelock, and the footbed following the horse, and the airboat, the porthouse hurtling, the hand house, the port ring, the plum worm dancing, the river worm, the moon head facing the king, the wood book, the waterback night, the bird's backness, the heartback air exceeding the house, and the mansack, the woman town exceeding the house, the downhound listening, and the flyhead facing the field, the book bird supporting the light, the lock woman, the void board opposing the stone, the rest king, the water hand, and the flat eye following the list, the blue wood reflecting the eye, the trap town supporting the storm, the void bird, the true book hurtling, the man side sick exceeding the ring, and the air yard reflecting the man, the firelight, the cloud black land dreaming, the highway earth, the past land. I'll stop there in part one of the true list and I'll introduce Allison Parrish, a bot maker, poet, um, local New Yorker, a teacher of uh, various sorts of digital poetry, interactive media at uh, NYU's ITP program, and the author of Articulations. Allison. Um, okay, so I'm going to read uh, an excerpt of my book. Hello. Um, so uh, the way that this book was created was by doing an analysis of Project Gutenberg, which is a public domain uh, database of, public, of, of text in the public domain. Um, so I found all of the lines of text in that database that looked like they were part of a poem. So they ended up with about three million lines in that database. And then using, um, using a phonetic analysis, I assigned a number to each line based on what it sounded like. Um, that number is basically like a vector. You can think of it as like points on, our, on a Cartesian plane, except there were 50 dimensions instead of two. Um, 
And then using a procedure called a random walk, I put those lines together into about, I don't know, 75 lines of poems. Um, or lines of poetry, I should say. They're not really poems, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so basically what happens is that all of the lines that are similar to each other in the way that they sound are grouped with each other inside of the text. Um, so I'm just going to read uh, a little excerpt of this, um, starting in, in no particular place other than this is a place that I like. Um, I can find it. <clears throat> they said sever it. Sever ever either face of every other fair one, every face. However full will she ever, ever, ever fill this heart. Will she ever, ever, ever hither come? How every pleasure, every good, combined to every pleasure, every pain, converts to pleasure, every pain. And tawny copper shoots her azure veins when the pan caught her vision. Heavens, what sight her vision caught that I should be her virgin and her slave. Over her sides we dash, on either side she bows her head. Then she bowed her head and oft, as if her head she bowed, she bowed her head and died. To God and her he said and died. Had then God heard her, had he sent her hair, her hand, her body till she died, she leaned her head upon her hand, she laid her hand upon her brow, then she laid her hand upon her breast, her hand upon her breast, upon her breast her hands and her hair, her hands upon her breast, scarce drawn her breath, her hands upon her breast, less red than the dart hands crossed on her breast, her head bowed, the her hands clasped on her breast. All clasped her hands and clasped her hands, and gently clasped her hand, she clasped her hands, and bent her head and wept, she raised her white head, and clasped her wrinkled hands thrice with her hand. Her naked breast she knocks, announced her rank. Twelve rings were on her hand, her eyes, her lips, her hair, flung down, praising her eyes, her lips, her nose, her hair. No vision of her hands, her lips, her eyes, her eyes were heaven's own azure. Her eyes a bashful azure, and her hair, O oh vision, that are happier eyes have seen. Somehow, from that hour I had a new vision looms high and fronts our vision yet our heaven or cast, our vision high and far, for her azure eyes are heaven. Felt fever on his azure arteries, heart's ease in every lovely flower and every leaf and every flower that every flower and every leaf that every flower and every tree and every flower in verity every flower and every fruit the redolent breath flowers of every form and color. Every flower is a lover of mine, every flower is a rose. Of every flowery scent when every flower, when every flower on every hill and never, on uh, never I'll see him arise. I see around on every hand, beneath around on every hand, look around on either hand, breathe around and hand in hand my brow and Helen's. As we, hand in hand, by heart, as well as head in hand he wrought, and has not where to lay his head. He had not where to lay his head. Had he dared, he had gone to his help. But he had got Heidi into his head that he has still his head upon his body. Had he bowed his head in sorrow at his birth, that of his good presence he had no idea, not knowing that he had befriended, that he had wounded Ben, that he had been, as he had done, deed he had done. The deed that he had done, thus by the deeds that he has done, by the ill deeds he had done, we had held by the game and hailed the team. He kissed the child and by the hand led, and take him kindly by the hand, the dullest in his class, that he should take the damsel by the hand she took him by the hand and said, come love. She took him by the hand and said, come in with me. And took him by the hand and took them by the hand took them friendly by the hand, took me by the hand, by the hand, by this, the hand takes his son by the hand, he takes her by the hand, he took her by the hand, she took her by the hand, to take her by the either hand, one took the other briskly by the hand, he took the children by the hand, he took the maiden by the hand, I took the dead man by the hand, I took the dead man by his hand, he took my hand in his and held it thus, her little hand in his he took, in his little house he learned it all and he told his little tale of woe, of his little children too. And love lit love of life, love and life, O oh, love and life, love unto life, love unto life, to life and light, light life and long life, come life and light. Like a thing of life and light, the daylight comes like a stifled sigh, the sun like eyes, whose light and life and like a child like a child. Thank you.